Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, my dear brothers and sisters in Islam. So this is a moment that I usually only share with the people really close to me. I just, just waked up a few minutes ago. This is how I sleep on the floor. This is how I like it. And today in the beautiful Switzerland, we're going to visit St. Gale with my aunt. I say this journey's been amazing. Give up something for Allah. Replaces it with something much better. So right now we are waiting for the bus. Uh, for the bus, I don't know how much time it's gonna take. How much time? We feel it to St. Uh, 20 minutes. 20 minutes uh, to go to St. Gale with the bus. And uh, the area is uh, beautiful, as you see, as always. There's a lot of green here, a lot of place, and it's really, really calm, like. It's such a beautiful day. I say this journey's been amazing. Give up something for Allah. This is the sun side of St. Gale, and uh, we are going um, here. I think, where should I see? I don't see good. There's a, a white house somewhere there, and this is where my mom and her sister and all my family, they, they grow up. So that's where we're going. So I just bought uh, bread. You know, this is a top that we just eat it like that. Just grab it. And I just bought, you know, for sure in Switzerland, we have to try the cheese. So Appenzeller cheese. Uh, Appenzeller is actually a place. It's a city. And uh, yeah, the cheese from there. So cheese and bread while walking in Switzerland. Okay. So we still go up the hill to go see my mother uh, house when she used to be young and you know it's always calm listen You hear the birds. So calm and so beautiful. You see the mountains? You see there, that's the Sentis. That's when, where I went to Paraglife. It was just next to this, uh, to this big mountain. So the Sentis is a famous mountain in Switzerland. So this is the street. The famous street is Schlattes Strasse. Schlattes Strasse. It's a street where my mom grew up after being in the house in St. Gallen. Before they left the city, that's the house my mom used and the family used to live. Like my grandfather, my grand-grandfather used to live in this house. But before it was a little bit changed. It's not the same as right now. Now it's made new. But this was the house before they left the city. So here we are in the back of the house, uh, of my grand-grandfather's house. And uh, here you can see that this section, those three windows there, they were not there. Th this was built after. So actually this garage was there, but this space here was free. So you could see through this and you see, you know, you could see through this. So this space was not there. And that is not part of the house. So the house was only this this space was only the house and it was many family uh, living there my grandfather had his, started his business he had his business here downstairs here and here the house that was just like this started falling a little bit on this side so that's why they had to destroy it and rebuild a new one so they moved from St. Gale to Schlattestrasse here in St. Gale still in St. Gale but this was in the neighborhood and not in the city and uh, she moved there when she was six years old. When the Straße is unten, so wie du kannst sehen kannst, ja? there is the house. Ah, da. Yeah, ja. and here on this Straße haben wir immer gespielt. Muss ich überhaupt Hochdeutsch reden? Ja, ja, ja. Ich mache nur in Franz, in Englisch noch. Aha. So there where you see the car coming that was uh, exactly where the house was uh, you have to know that right now how is the street 
and how is you know the house is not the same before all those houses they were not there and it was uh, you know it was old houses and you know it was not in the city so now there you see the street is done and the houses are new it was not like that it was not like that but this is the place so this is a house where my mom she grew up uh, when, when she was a kid she was six years old here and they used to play here in this street it's so fun it's it's so you know for like it's the first time for you to see this but now is the first time for me to see this in my life you know i never knew where she grew up she always stays said stories but i never really knew i never had an image on those stories and just so crazy you know and and we we human we adults and we can just ask and go and see you know and this is something i i i recommend you to do Go ask your parent, go ask your mom, go ask your father, where was the house, where was everything, when you, where your grandfather, when they're still alive. Ask questions, try to see where you come from, you know? So you're gonna be able to know a bit more about yourself, more about your family, and have a better vision on where you're gonna go. This morning I was chilling out in London, oh, then I ended up in Istanbul. Last night I was in Switzerland, I'm a traveler on these lands. I say this journey's been amazing. So this here was the school where my mom and like all the family used to go for the first school, like the first grade. Like, I think it's grade one, two, not sure three, but those first grade, that's where she used to go to school. So to walk here from the house, it took us 10 minutes. When you're a kid and you know, you're young and you walk in 10 minutes, alone with no parents you know it might, it might be long but still not that long so the school was actually on this street Guitarner Strasse and um, the school name was Guitarners Berg so this was the place where my mom and all the family used to go to school you know it was uh, after grade one two three it was four five six here you know they may be uh, 11 years old and up that was a school but now it's all destroyed there's nothing left and this is what it is it's just history now so this is the high school where my mom used to go so uh, actually from the house it's 35 minutes walking and we walk down so now to go up like to go to the house, we have to go up. If you ask me now to go back to the house, maybe I will say okay. But to do it twice in a day? No, I will not do it. I don't know. I will just bring my lunch and heat it here. But at that time, it was not uh, like that. I don't know why. So you had to go up to the house and come back. And now I understand the story that she was telling me and all the family that it's long walk. And she, I'm sure she was not walking with Jordans. I'm sure her feet, you know, was, it, it, it was hard. So I understand the struggle. I understand the struggle. <sighs> but it's so beautiful. Too comfortable with the man I am. Powerful, firm on his feet I stand. Their weaknesses, I don't understand. His streets already taken way too many. Cancer already taken way too many. I continue on this journey, soldier, soldier. This morning I was chilling out in London. Oh, then I ended up in Istanbul. Last night I was in Switzerland. I'm a traveler on these lands. I say this journey's been amazing. Give up something for a law. Replaces it with something much better. This morning I was chilling out in London. Oh, then I ended up in Istanbul. Last night I was in Switzerland I'm a traveler on these lands This morning I was chilling out in London So now we are here I say this journey's been amazing Give up something for a law Replaces it with something much better So we are now uh, in the middle of St. Gallen, uh, the city in Switzerland, 
And what we can see a lot, a lot, a lot is churches. There's a lot of churches. Like here, there's one. You can see a big one, huge one. And as you can see, um, there, that's another one, you know. And as you can see, here, that's another one. Like just in maybe, you know, 100 meter, there's three churches. And like I told you before, Switzerland is really a Christian city. You hear the church? This is the Aden for the prayer for the Christian. And as you can see how much Christianity is ingrained in the city, here, they don't really, you know, it's not just all about money like in Canada, in the States, like everything is open at any time. No. Sunday, most of the things are closed here because it's the day for God. I say this journey's been amazing. Give up something for Allah. Replaces it with something much better. This morning I was chilling out in London. Then I ended up in Istanbul. Last night I was in Switzerland. I'm a traveler on these lands. I say this journey's been so here is this is an old library from the church and this is just a small preview for you guys because inside we're not allowed to film and we're not allowed to take pictures so we can see books from before like very old and uh, it's all most of them are written in latin and now they're doing pitch like they're doing the scanning all those books and they make it available to the people i think it's online right now and it's not finished and they're doing it and uh, right now inside it's beautiful it's a big big place with you know books usually they had a, a mommy and they had other things but it's gonna come back in one month so if i want to see it if you guys want to see it it's gonna be in one month inshallah oh yeah and i just wanted to say it costs 12 franc to go see those books you know 12 francs and we're not allowed to take pictures but what you're gonna see you know it's private uh, private thing don't tell nobody <laughs> i say this journey's been amazing give up something for allah replaces it with something much better how do you like my porsche red red huh? you like it huh? i like it too so this is the red place you know the floor is all red and you know switzerland we love red uh, that's not a, something why i love red so much i'm not the only one so this is a red place you're gonna see there you want to know why this is all red but this is a smart marketing thing from the bank rice Faisen. it's a bank and this is the marketing that they did it's crazy they turned the city red too comfortable with the man i am powerful firm on his feet i stand their weaknesses i don't understand his streets already taken way too many cancer already taken way too many i continue on this journey soldier soldier this morning i was chilling out in london then i ended up in istanbul last night i was in switzerland so the video today was really this is some really important information that you just got for me this is is crazy i just learned today where my mom grew up their houses that they went where they moved where is the school that she went like where is the preschool that she went where is the high school that she went and then I met, I did all that with my hand that doesn't want to take pictures or even video so you don't see her. But after we went together to see my other aunt and like I told in my story that when I went to Switzerland at 17 years old, I made some mistake that I had to leave the country. And then my uncle and my aunt, they used to leave those problems problems that I left behind so today was an important day for me because it was the first time that I saw her again after 27 years I am right now with my aunt 
in uh, Switzerland, St. Gallen. Her name is Priska. Yeah. So, um, it's been how long that I did not see you? 27 years that I didn't see her. So it's been a long time. And she had bad memories about me. And I hope, I hope, as forgiveness, I hope she will forgive me for everything that I did. And I hope um, that we can start a new page today. I hope in her heart that she will forgive me. After 27 years, this is crazy. And I just ask her for forgiveness and I hope she will forgive me. And uh, this, you know, this is just beautiful day, important date for me today. I don't even know what's the date, uh, but anyway. So please, always like the video comment and share like the video subscribe to the channel subscribe to the channel like comment and share everybody i love you all assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh last night i was in switzerland i'm a traveler on these lands